And it looks like we are live. Uh, welcome to the Inner City Improv Jam. Uh, give yourself a round of applause for being here tonight and for just watching the uh, game. So what you're going to see tonight is uh, if you're watching live streaming us on Facebook or one of our other ways you can live stream, you're going to see four teams, actually five teams. Uh, two will be musical. Three will be likely non-musical. <laughs> a headlining team uh, right here from Portland, Oregon, where I am broadcasting from, uh, called Gilbert. They've been together for years. Decades, generations, uh, a brilliant Woo. team. We got three uh, three females from uh, Philbert. They're an amazing team, and you should be stoked to see them. They're our headliners this evening, so stick around for that. After that, we'll also have a group game of some sort. Stick around for that as well if you'd like to play. So uh, we, a couple things about Inner City before we start. We're going to share a slideshow so you know how this jam rolls. So here's our jam format. So teams are randomly assigned. If you don't see your name on those list, don't worry, because this is just a sample. Of course, you wouldn't be on this list, or maybe you are, but don't worry about it. We're going to be doing a montage. So if you're in one of our first four teams, our total game goal is about two hours. Each team will have about 15 minutes. Uh, we're going to be doing sweep, edits, and tag outs. If you want to do a sweep, simply say sweep. The people that are on scene, on screen, will disappear. And uh, you'll join in, and someone else will join you in that scene very quickly. Let's do an example of that. Let's see. Uh, maybe we have uh, Laura's in a scene with uh, uh, Angel. And maybe they're doing a scene together. <laughs> but Laura, that's right. Laura's not here. So maybe uh, Ange Angel and I are doing a scene together. And maybe someone thinks, you know what, like, Angel's character is really great. I really want to be in a scene with her. They would say something like, Sweep! Nick! Oh. Yeah, they would say, tag out. Tag tag out. out. I would disappear. Nick. I'd turn my camera off. They would turn their camera on, and they would be in that scene together with Angel. Uh, but if there are a bunch of people in a scene together, maybe I and S Susan and Angela are in a scene all together, uh, and someone's thinking, you know what? This scene just needs to end. We need to start a brand new scene. And then Faustino might be thinking, yeah, I'm going to start a whole brand new scene, and would just say, Sweep. Sweep, and we would all turn our cameras off, and someone else would join him very shortly. Cool. Uh, let's continue. So, uh, you'll be getting a time warning. Someone will be a timekeeper to give you a two-minute warning. If you have not yet been on screen, get in there. Be a part of your set, right? Uh, make sure that you're uh, a part of that, and also being aware to wrap things up. What else? Um, if you are not actively in a scene uh, that you're not uh, participating in that, that montage, go ahead and make sure your video is off. Mute yourself, especially if you got a lot of distractions as well, uh, so that way we don't still focus. Next, uh, and you yourself may get muted. If you forget to mute yourself, sometimes it's nice to hear other people's laughter. So if you're laughing along, that's cool. But like if a truck is passing through your house, or dogs are barking and chasing your cat, we might recognize that as a lot of just background noise. We might mute you. You may have to ask to be unmuted to continue the scene. Woof, 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 woof. Exactly. I would mute Faustina like that because I heard that fake dog barking. Uh, and then he would ask to be unmuted. We would unmute him, and it's just fine. Uh, cool. And your video settings, I'm sure you're all Zoom masters at this point. Be sure to hide non-video participants if you've not done already. That way you don't just see a bunch of small black screens. You only see the people that are actively in the scene with you. Uh, let's look at some other settings. Uh, sound settings we'll deal with later, but right now know that we're streaming on Facebook. Share this video around. Make sure other people know you're doing a live show streaming on Facebook. Also, if you don't want to be streamed on Facebook, now is your chance. Uh, great. So sensitive topics, things we'd rather you not talk about, political stuff, COVID-19, we all know about that stuff, uh, religion, spirituality, blue humor, stalking, socioeconomic disadvantage, cursing. These are just examples. This is not an extensive or exhaustive list. So please maybe don't do those things. Things you definitely should not do are these things. Flashing each other. Please keep your actual clothes on. You're free to take off your improv clothes. Um, 
also things like rape, kidnapping, miscarriage, suicide, racism, sexism, any other isms, mental illness, um, anything that makes a person's identity the butt of a joke, please just don't do those things, right? Cool. If you feel that one of these things has been violated, feel free to take a timeout. Uh, anyone can call a timeout at any time. Turn on your camera, call timeout. This violates our jam guidelines, and we'll move on to the next scene. We'll edit. Um, volunteers and team hosts will be watching sets. However, we encourage everyone to feel empowered to do a timeout. If you notice someone is doing something uncomfortable um, and you're uncomfortable speaking out, just send one of us a message, and we'll do that timeout for you. So help us create a safer space. Thank you so much. Um, tips for improv on Zoom. Just like on stage, one person speaking at a time, right? Treat other players with respect. Don't be rude. Um, group chat, no trolling, please. Use your actual face if you use a puppet or something. Let's also see who you are as well. Self-manage your playing time. Make sure other people get in there as well. And when improvising music, don't worry about the lag. Um, your play carries you better. And your MD tonight, Faustino. Give it up for Faustino, everybody. We'll carry you throughout any lag. Uh, and when the timer warning's called, if you haven't been in, get up there. That's probably going to be the last scene. <clears throat> Have fun, laugh with each other, and uh, just play, play, play. Our headliner tonight, we'll tell you in a little bit. Uh, it's Philbert. Uh, <laughs> Philbert is a team out of Portland, and uh, they are truly incredible. I've had the great fortune to work with all of the people you're going to see that are part of this team tonight, and you are in for a treat. They are absolutely brilliant. Um, stick around to the end for the group game. Uh, the feature troupe will be announced for next week a little bit later, and just hang out and chat with each other. Mingle. Spread the word. I know in each of our regions, the pandemic might feel like it's coming to an end. Uh, we might, Things are opening up. People are taking off their, their face masks and things like that. But just stick around. Be there for support uh, because this inner city improv community has been here for all of us for the past year and a half, basically. So let's uh, let's keep it going and support each other as we do that. Hey. Yeah. Further ado, are we ready to announce uh, our first team? Yes, we are. Great. Well, then we'll welcome our first host, uh, Angel. Uh, welcome, Angel. And uh, thanks so much for introducing this first team. Thank you, Nick. So it's time to know our first team of the evening, a non-musical team. And we will have, as the timekeeper, Alex Lee. He will inform you when you'll have only two minutes left and you have 15 minutes on the set. Yes, and so, playing on the team, we will have Michael Barkovsky from San Diego. We will have also Don Robertson from Corpus Christi. Yes, and we will have Kevin Wilcox from New York, New York. We will have Jessica Zoltro from Portland, Oregon. We will have Christine Shear from Portland, Oregon. And finally, we will have G JP De Silva from Toronto, Canada. Good luck, Team One. Woo Yay! Yeah! All right, so we are team one and we would love a suggestion to get started. Uh, shout it out now or or put it in the the chat. What? Medulla oblongata. <laughs> Man, uh, Mandula Oblongata. I'm not sure I can say that many syllables at the same time. I, I did see, that. <laughs> I saw Heartbreaker in the chat. I also saw that. How does that uh, land with everybody? Yay. Yeah? All right. Uh, team one presents Heartbreaker. He's not going to be the last, I promise. I think he's the last. He's definitely the last. Oh, oh sweetie. Oh, sweetie. No one's ever going to love me again. <laughs> I shouldn't have come on so strong. I proposed on our second date. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty fast for a 16-year-old. Yeah, how did, how did you find someone that 
<laughs> that you loved and loved you back. I, I did the same thing most women of my day did. I went to college. You went to college. <laughs> I'm never going to go to college and I'm never going to meet anybody. This is the end of days. <laughs> oh, honey. Hi. No, no, no. Oh, who, who is it? Uh, yes, I'm here to offer you a place at uh, Harvard, and uh, you're also cute. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. Thank you. But you don't understand. I can't go to Harvard. My heart is broken. Oh, sweetie, sweetie. You need that MS degree. We have that. You have, a, you have an MS degree? Oh. Um, uh, tag out Dawn and JP. Thank you so much for coming in to um, a day. Now I've heard of your problem and I think that, uh, 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 Where did I, where did I come to again? Best surgery is the only way to fix it. Oh, right, yes, I yeah, came we, to the surgeon. Oh. Yeah, we literally go in and we put the heart back together again. You think you could do that? Yeah, 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 we hey, have a needle and thread, we just sew it up. It's incredible. Um, that's really, it's actually really amazing. I'm wondering, are you happily married or involved in a relationship right now? I've been divorced seven times. I mean, this is gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Johnson, Johnson, I need to see you. Johnson. Yep. Uh, I, we're both Johnson. I, okay. All right. It's, it, listen, I'm trying to remember everyone's first names, but I can only remember your last names. And the thing is, you know, we've been tasked to come up with the world's greatest love song. And, oh, jo Johnson, we cannot hear you, Johnson. That's it, and see, and that's the beauty of the love song that I have come up with. It's yeah. just like this. I all I can translate. She said, "Love doesn't suck." Check <laughs> out JP and Dawn. So I, Mr. Paola, head of the World Radio Association want to talk to you about this love song we commissioned you to write. Yes. 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 This is radio. Songs need to have audio. We paid you $75 billion and you gave us four hours of silence. But it speaks volumes, does it not? Not over the radio, it doesn't. Tag <laughs> out, uh, Kevin. Um, I just want to say that the song, How Silent It Is, is um, it's incredible. I think that uh, we will buy it for half a billion dollars, if that sounds fair to you. Because I love the how quiet it is. Don't <laughs> Don't respond, because... Your silence is reinforcing how much I appreciate um, that it is quiet. Oh, right back at you. Yes, <laughs> very good. You are now half a billion dollars richer. I think that's something like $500 million. That's a lot of money. Yes. Yes, thank you. Um, I need to go back to uh, the beautiful cave that I have re renovated where I live. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And sweet. <laughs> okay. Now, you're going to be doing a transplant. Yes. You're going to be transplanting the medulla oblongata yes of a pig into a human being 
I got this it. is going to be the first even partial brain transplant of an animal into a human. I got except it. for that one done in France in 1974. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously. Now, there are two things you need to know. Right. First, obviously, I should probably not be holding the medulla in my bare hand, and you're going to need to wash it first. Yeah. Okay. And then you just finished eating. Also, oh, you're going to be wearing big, gloves during this, gloves. so writing this down on your hand is going to, you know, is going to be useless. No, it's fine. I just hold it up during surgery, and it's there. Okay. By the way, this is gloves. dripping down my arm. Could you take it? I mean... It's there, so, it's yeah. Now, the other thing to remember about yes. the medulla oblongata is you're going to have to be very careful when connecting it to the rest of the brain. Because if you do this wrong, yes, we're going to wind up, you know, with another situation like we had, you know, with that Yes, yes, whose yes, heart yes, exploded yes. on your in. watch. Sweet. Absolutely. Sweet. Darling. Yes. Darling. I, I heard you the first time, but yeah, go ahead. I I love you. Oh, that's a surprise it I mean you you seem to hate my guts over the last few weeks. That's something no. must have changed. Everything has changed, darling. Everything has changed because my heart has gone numb. And now I can love again. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you to that voodoo priest. Thank you. <laughs> it has happened. The priest worked and we are here now. We are now at this stage of our marriage where I love you. Oh, it's, we have so many plans now. We have so many plans. We could go to Paris. Yes. And, uh, love. Yes. And we could, uh, you could clean my bathroom. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Wait, 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 huh? wait, wait. Um, <clears throat> Paris. I don't remember the bathroom being on the list of things we could do when I finally loved you. <laughs> Darling, it, it makes sense. In order for us to go to Paris, I need to take a shower, but I can't take a shower because the bathroom's stinks how can we go to paris that i stink oh that's right i will be sitting next to you on the plane we will i will clean the bathroom you will be clean we will go to paris and oh. we can finally get a dog a dog yes <laughs> a dog and we'll name it you have the best name you get to name the dog <laughs> Marceline. Marceline. Marceline, the tiniest poodle. <laughs> uh, we'll call it Morsi for short. I love it. I love uh, it. I love you. It, I love sweet. <laughs> so she walked into my office shortly after the rain stopped in a late summer evening. I have a job. I need you to do for me. You see? Well, that's why you walked into the office, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. You see, I'm married to a much, much older man and I thought he would die in about three to six months. Uh, life's a eight, bitch. <laughs> it's been 18 years. <laughs> and That's a long time. Yeah, and Somehow he's gained a whole lot of older children. And I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I follow. Well, you see, I married him for his money. I mean, look at me. I'm, I mean, yes, now I'm. You're gorgeous. You know. You're drop I, dead gorgeous. I, yes. And now you, you want your husband me. to drop dead. Exactly. I mean, uh -huh. you should have seen me when I was 25, when he first married me. He was 102, now he's 127. The problem is you're confessing your evil plan to a detective. <laughs> and so now- Wait, I'm, hold on. I'm gonna have to arrest you. Well, two things. One, 
you're clearly a private detective. That's right. Two, I could have sworn this was Office uh, 3C. That's right. This is Office 3C. You might have been looking for the the uh, the hitman. That's yeah. uh, that's Office 3D. They get confused all the time. Uh, but it works out for me many times. Look. Well, okay. Um, but now I'm going to have to pay him for two jobs. Oh. Look, I can play on either side of the law. You understand me? As long as there's something to butter my bread. Tag out Kevin. So you found me here in Paris. That's right. That's where everybody goes who falls in love. I've changed. You've changed. I've changed. You, you said you would be here 10 years ago. Now you're here. So I'm 10 years late. The offer still stands. You think I just waited? I just waited here in Paris for you for 10 years and did nothing with my own life? Look, what you did with your time is none of my business. It's whether or not you want to go back to the States and marry me, kid. That's what I'm looking for. Also, I could possibly arrest you. Tag out, Jessica. So you're after back. 10 years of searching for my husband, you, you found him in Paris and offered to marry him yourself. That's right. Like I said, I can play on either side of the law. I just need something to butter my bread. He's 137 years old now. That's right. And it's been 10 years. He's, he was 127 yeah. when I met him. I know, because that's when I hired you to kill him. It's I also been a long hired, <laughs> uh, let's uh, tag out Kristen and I'm um, a Kevin and uh, bring on somebody else. <laughs> so you want him. me to investigate whether or not your husband is cheating. You know yeah. that this is 3D, right? That's not what I do. Try for me, please. Listen, I could take care of this problem in a very different way, but I don't normally do investigations. Uh, Look, okay. I'm just popping in to give you your mail. It came to my place again. Why Here's, does that keep happening? Here's your <laughs> mail, all right. <laughs> I may have won a million dollars. I'll check that later. Well, do do what you gotta do. I'm so good. Let's let someone um, talk about your I'm um, a thing. Listen, I could skip right to the right to the uh, divine justice portion of the your husband cheating if you like that. But I don't do the investigation. Oh, hey, uh, it's just me, the dermatologist from Office Three E. Yeah, I think that letter you may have won a million dollars was actually for me. Sorry. Oh, damn it. Anyway, you were saying, so yeah, so are you up to just skip ahead to the divine judgment part? You know what? I'm sick of that jerk anyway. Oh, great. Wonderful. That saved me a bunch I'm of I'm from the clearinghouse. Is, is this the right place? It's a big check. Yes, it's Ed I'm a Thomas. And, oh, my God. I can't believe it. And this is an unlisted address for me. So this is a, doubly amazing. Yay. So, oh, so are no. you single then? <laughs> I mean, yeah, kind of. And that's our show. I mean, yeah, kind of. <laughs> and that's our show. <laughs> 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 Give it up for team one, everybody. Uh, they were incredible. Uh, so hilarious. In six we have so much more, more coming at you. Uh, before we share with you that, uh, we want to let you know there are some other things going on here at Inner City Improv. So um, you might be thinking, if this were a menu, you wouldn't be thinking, like, what is on the menu? And uh, what might I dive into? Not these two creepy clown things so Nick, much. You're missing, Nick, you're missing something. What What am I missing? Uh, we got a thing that we usually do at the beginning. And oh, we'll you're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, 
you're right. We should do that first. Uh, you, you might be thinking, like, how can I support this team? How can I lay my head down at night and think about inner city improv all night long? Uh, appreciate the support in the, the uh, chat there. Way to go, Team One. Uh, you might be laying your head on a pillow or a coffee mug so that it's ready to be filled with coffee in the morning. Uh, you might have a mask that you could wear and advertise inner city all day, all night long. And uh, you can check that out at our Etsy page. Wow, the representation is amazing. Hey, uh, Nick, uh, yeah. also remember that we're not actually making money off of these things. It's mostly just uh, remember that the jam was a thing. Uh, I actually lose money when someone buys a thing. So it's really just if you want to remember, you participate in the jam. So please buy something. Yeah, and if you want to help us, you know, lose money, uh, <laughs> You can do so right now. So if you want to help an, uh, an, a starving artist and educator lose money with every single purchase, uh, shop on Amazon. But if you want to do that while remembering Inner City Improv Jam, uh, go to our Etsy page, which is going to be dropped in the chat very soon. So uh, go ahead and make sure to check us out and buy stuff from Inner City on, uh, on our uh, Etsy page. Check it out as soon as you can and buy all sorts of stuff and then you can take it to other festivals you can bring that pillow buy stuff from inner city on uh, on our uh etsy page check it out oh i just heard myself echo that was weird uh, uh well, i'm so sorry so i'm gonna go ahead and introduce our next host to introduce the next team so let's bring our next host to the stream please Hi. david shapiro is gonna do team two Team two is our first musical group, and your timekeeper will be Michael Ostrowskis. Not the Michael who is with the We're gonna have Nick Condon from Portland, Oregon. I'm singing all the good things. We're gonna have Susan Scosco from Pennsylvania. Finally, we're gonna have Andrea Fay Padilla from the Philippines. Take it away, get your suggestion, and have fun. Go ahead, Angel. Hello, everybody. Can you give us a suggestions of something that inspire you in life? Carnival. Carnival. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carnival. Step right up, step right up. Knock down three bottles and win a prize. That's right. Oh, hello. Uh, would you like to, to give it a kiss? Yes, yes. Hmm, all right. So uh, three balls for five dollars. Mm, okay. I'll take them. I'll take them. All right. Uh, see, we have a young person with confidence here. Hand me that $5 bill. And here you are, ball number one. We have oh. three uh, bottles standing right behind you right now. Three bottles standing right behind you. Let's see if you can knock down bottle number one. M M M Maria, the bottles are mine, Maria. I know. Mine. You can win this. Go ahead. I want them. Take a chance. Go. I know you can do it. Just oh go. God. Do it, Kimberly. Do it. Win that prize for your baby brother. Do it. Do it now. Holy I cow. I will do it. I think I deserve it. I have dreamed it for so long. And with your support, my sister, I will have everything. And you have a strong arm to throw. I have confidence in you, you know. Go ahead, take a step. And do it tonight, Kimberly. You're the best. Oh my God. He's looking in a strange way. Maybe he thinks I'm a loser. No. 
the camera pans to the bottle who's about to be hit. This is my life. I always accept. Throw. I can always accept balls for the happiness of the players. I am willing to do it. I am willing to get hurt as much as I can. Every single time. Throw it! Throw it now! Okay, I will do it. Here it goes. Ouch! Good work! It is a general's bottle. The best I never saw You are prepared to sacrifice yourself You are our best prize ever <gasps> I am the best prize? Oh my god! <laughs> can, can we take you home please? I'm sorry, the bottles are not for sale. <gasps> Let's get our prize, Kimberly, and go. I have Let's to go. go. To house. Oh. Oh my God. Here we have again, Mark, in this sad house our kids already left to the university you know and how can can we live with these walls around everything so, so cold. we've made a lot of memories in this house a lot of happy memories in this house and just because they're gone and starting their new life doesn't mean we can't start a new life together. Oh, Mark, you are crying. I don't want to make you sad. Ooh. And I have been through a lot, raised a family, a home, but that not be for naught, we still have a life together, you and I. Oh yes, we have, we had a life, we had a marriage, the kids around, the birthday parties, we saw them grow, we went to holidays, your eyes were shining, you and I, you and I. I couldn't help but notice your use of past tense verbs. And I don't mean to address this, but it seems slightly absurd. You and I have a life together. We still could have a life together. 
We still could have a life. We still could. You and I. You and I. You and I. You want to. Mark, I don't want you to cry. Let's do a little party here. In the house. You and I. You and I. Together. Okay, so we can. Yeah. I just saw the most beautiful movie. It was better than love story. What? I know it's beautiful because you are the star in it. Well, not that one, but you're so kind. <laughs> I mean, the love story between those two beautiful people. Don't you wish you can find something like that? We're in reality. It's so hard to pick someone. You're right. We're in reality and that was a movie. Yeah, like if just someone is just writing our story, maybe it's just easier to have a love life or a partner in life, maybe. <sighs> Their love was just like a Ferris wheel. There was a lot of ups and downs, but it didn't seem like that will ever happen to me. <laughs> you know what I'm Never saying? Know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, girl. I have an idea, just a little. On this Ferris wheel of love Going up and down all the time Going around in circles I'm losing my mind About you Just like a bad roller coaster Told you that I'm like this such a headache you know you're gonna go through twists and turns, but what's the ending? Who knows? Who knows? What's the ending? What's the ending? It's like a carousel going round and round, but what's the ending? Mine's like a spider! It has too many legs. What's the ending? It's like a horror house you go through inside and then you get scared every time you encounter a ghost that is not real or someone who gives you a shock. But what's the ending? What's the ending? everyday lives that we are experiencing <sighs> oh girl you said it <laughs> let's just run away and let's be our ride. i've got tickets here <laughs> girl power let's go let's go and ride and go through life and be as strong as we can Strong as we can. Strong as we can. Girl, you got it. Let's go.
Um, I got this goldfish at a carnival, and I don't know what to do with it. Hmm. You never know what to do, Vincent. Give it to me. Hmm. Hmm. So it's a carnival thing? Hmm. Vincent, look, I can tell you it smells like a big carnival party. And you know that the parties here in this military school are forbidden. Look, I didn't I didn't mean to have a party or I didn't I just went to a carnival and and won a fish by throwing some darts. I was just hoping to save the life of a fish. Oh, Vincent, you want to save somebody's life, so you must be here training, okay? Training very hard in order to save lives. Hey. It's a military school. I'm sorry. Life is not amusement. Life beats hard and it hurts. You gotta be prepared. You gotta take your guts. Come on, boy. Start practicing and do some exercise on your body. It's not a news man, boy. I didn't want to be here at this military school, doing the best I can to hang and be cool. Thought getting away, heading to the carnival, I'd find a little sense of calm, a little peace of mind instead. All I get stress and anger and I'm sorry now I'm in but danger you are in you're in danger you're in danger Vincent you are having a bad behavior you don't belong to this school boy you must leave you must be free like the fish and the bird. Come on, boy, take this as a opportunity. You're in danger, boy. Think if I could have one wish, would be to leave. And take my fish. So I'll leave. Take your fish, boy. Take your future in your hands. Run, run, run. You are free now. You're in danger, boy. All right. Me and my fish are gone. Okay, I will miss you. So long. It was a dangerous boy. And scene. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yay. Awesome. Uh, cool. So earlier we showed you what was on the menu as far as what you can buy as far as stuff in the Etsy shop. So go ahead and buy your inner city improv stuff. But you might be wondering how else can you be a part of what's going on with inner city improv. And that's the kind of menu we're going to talk about right now. 
Uh, so I'm sure we have slides to let you know all about the other offerings of Inner City. Uh, for example, we have things like the open mic uh, bi-weekly. So that happens every other Monday. So the next one will be happening on July 26th. So check that out. And you can sign up early. You can go ahead and click on that link right there that you see on your screen. Uh, and you can sign up. You can do improv you can do stand-up you can sing a song you could do puppetry you can do just about anything this is the most open open mic you will ever see in your life so check that out uh what else is going on you might ask good question uh so there is also the inner city long form improv jam that you are a part of right now uh great congratulations you know about that share that with other people but because you know about that you probably want to know about other things such as the short form jam uh and that happens on tuesday nights every other week or so uh the next one of those is going to be on august 10th 6 p.m pacific so do your time check and see where that is in your world and uh that happens every looks like once a month or so so check that out and be a part of that as well that is an awesome time we also still have yep Toast and jam, and that's early in the morning if you are in Pacific time, but if you're other parts of the world, that might happen at a more reasonable hour, and I highly encourage you join that as well. And that is long form sets, all different sorts of long form sets in jams three in a row, so check that out. Also an awesome time. I think that's it. Is there something else that I'm not aware of that we do? Oh yeah, the Etsy shop. Go buy stuff on Etsy, make Faustino lose money, make a starving artist starve that much more and you can have something to prove it so uh check that out and we're going to go ahead and introduce uh the host of our next team because we have four teams tonight team three uh come on to screen right now uh michael is going to introduce this next team thanks michael hey thank you nick uh, 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 of course and now we have team three the second non-musical team of the night we have your timekeeper, Nelson Morgan, who will be keeping track of uh, 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 Nelson. Uh, time. Keep an eye out for him when you only have two minutes left. Uh, and on team three, we have Michael A. from, well, Fremont, California. Tonight, we have David Shapiro from Chicago, Illinois. Faustino Solis, whoever the hell that is, from Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey! Hey! We have Aaron Campbell from Tennessee. Joshua Previn from Los Angeles, is California. Yes, the city of angles, they call it. Alex Lee from La Cañada, Canada, also known as Spanish Canada. And Greg the Whale Little from Berkeley, California. This is your team three. Someone behind Josh. Have a good night. Uh, I have met half of these people in person, and I've met two of them not yet. So what is two-thirds a thing you wish you had in your room right now? Chocolates. Chocolates. Two-thirds of chocolates. Thank you. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Chocolates. Sorry for get getting. <clears throat> Um, do, do you have two thirds? <laughs> Third? Okay. I think they, um, I, think maybe all, I can right. interpret for you. Oh, thank you. My goodness. So you're asking if you have two thirds, two thirds of what? I need you to be explicit. Um, uh, money. I want two thirds. <laughs> that's that, that's a big cut. Is it? Is it big? I didn't see. You know, I'm sorry. I'm speaking. I said I'd interpret. Let, let me let me turn to my associate, Mr. Campbell, here, and just read the body language for a second. Thank you. Two thirds is. Oh, there was a little head shake. No, no, I I do not have the two thirds money. <laughs> That's, that's not what I expected. I was, you have uh, like, tag, tag out Michael and the whale, uh, keep Aaron, keep somebody else on. 
All right, we brought you here, Mr. Campbell, because you are the best bomb negotiations person we've got. And we have one of our suspects right here tied up in a chair. And we need you to, without saying anything, verbally convince him to disarm the bomb in the building. Can you, are you up to that task, sir? I'm always up to the task of disarming bombs. Yeah. <laughs> you, you just, I think I think this bomb's about to go off. I'm losing focus. Wait, I, I, you I'm cannot sorry. lose focus he, when it's time to take a bomb. I, I heard I heard the whole thing. Even though I'm the one tied to the chair, he he was gonna con he wanted you to convince me to disarm the bomb. But it's apparent that you could already disarm the bomb, right? Oh gosh, we got 50 seconds. If you if we're not gonna make this guy tie to a chair, disarm it. You better disarm this bomb. Do you want to do it or should I? You should. I should. I, I don't know if I want to. Hello, hello. I, uh, I see you guys have just a little bit of time left. Do you have life insurance? My name is Morty. <laughs> Morty. How are you? Yeah. I'm not hey. buying the whole life policy for the third time, man. Marty, I've already it's bought three. It's the green three, wire. Marty, I've already bought three sub policies from you. Um, okay, that's a verbal agreement. I got to get out of here. I'm, I'm sorry Good to luck. interrupt. I see that that bomb has a pause button on it. Do you want to just hit the pause button? Um, there you go. I saved. Uh, there you go. Now I forgot. I, hope I got a good deal. I forgot to mention something to all three of you. No, when someone said cut the green wire, um, I interpret green and yellow as the same color. Uh -oh. So I was scared to cut any wires because I didn't want to cut the wrong one. Oh. And I think I can only really see four colors at a time ever. Well, that means that that countdown is still going probably, and it's almost to nothing. Um, uh, no, hold on a second. I'm I'm trying to say a personal detail that Sweet. like he colored. <laughs> yeah, so that was uh, I think it's one of the top three biggest explosions uh, in the nation's history. Man, it was carnage. At least one of the worst uh, negotiations ever. I mean, as as silent negotiations go, it was probably the loudest. Yes. Um, do you, uh, I'm sorry, I, <laughs> may I buy a hat from this store? Uh, they're just amazing. They're remarkable, really. Thank you. Um, yeah. You, anyone can if you have enough money. Okay. Have you heard of that? Sort of thing. <laughs> I heard there was a, there was a two third. You accept two thirds money. Is that two correct? <clears throat> um, if you have that, yeah. Hang out, Joshua and Aaron. Your camera's still on. <laughs> so um, I'm I'm looking at what you're giving me, and uh, someone just took this ten dollar bill and ripped like basically the last third of it off, and gave it to you. This doesn't count. This isn't seven. This this isn't six. This isn't six dollars and sixty six cents. All I remember, and I was vague on the details, is that uh -huh. you need two thirds money. Uh huh. And I, two. They gave you two thirds of a ten dollar bill. I mean, it's pretty vague. Two thirds money, and I give you two thirds of a ten dollar bill. <clears throat> it could have been okay. A hundred dollar bill, two thirds of a one dollar bill. Like I feel like a, the fact but that this this, a, this is physically a ten dollar bill. Now, did you give away a hundred percent of the hat? <laughs> when you put it like that, it makes me feel dumb for having done it. But to answer your question most directly, yes. Okay. Okay. And you didn't give away more than a hundred percent, did you? I, in any case, did you give away more than 100% of a hat? I admit I tried, and I couldn't do it for some reason. Sweet. Everybody get in here. I am going to give away two-thirds of my chocolate factory. <gasps> and only two-thirds of you... Wait, no. I, 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 let me repeat there, that. There, there's six of, of us. 
No, only a third of you are getting the factory because two thirds is too many to own. One third of the factory is going the way to, I guess, three of two of you children out of six because that's a third and two thirds aren't getting it. Mr. Wan, Mr. Wan, I'm two thirds of the average height of a human child. How does that affect me? That's a good uh, two thirds. If you're two thirds of the normal height, then maybe you wouldn't be selected. Well, let's let's not say you. normal. Let's just say average. Uh, we're looking for one thirds. Uh, one thirds are getting prior over two thirds. Oh, well, not that short. I guess I'm just preferring short people take over the factory. You would like to apply as an oompa loompa, sir. I would Child. like to point out that white chocolate. It's not chocolate. <laughs> Am I right? I have, no, I have no response to that. Uh, somebody else. It's not chocolate. It's one third of the deservedness for the factory. Tag out everybody, I'm but not like one third of a statement. Tag out everyone except for Joshua. Uh, we wanted to. Uh, wanted to. Uh, pull you into this room, Joshua, to uh, talk to you about what you said about white chocolate. Peterson, yeah. fire away, fire away. I, I, we, we heard what you said about white chocolate. You said, if I, we heard we have it all on camera. Oh. The, the, the tour guide was a, was a plant. She actually worked for us. Who else, who told you that white chocolate is in chocolate? And who do you tell? And who do you work <laughs> with? Look, you son of a bitch. I've had enough of you. Better watch out. You don't know. You're in my factory now. You're, you're behind a locked door in my factory. Maybe you want to change your mind on exactly what white chocolate is and what it isn't and who you said to what. Breeze outside of the room, bring in the entire team of Filbert. As you can see, this is what happens when you can't discern white chocolate with uh, dark chocolate. Chocolates. Um, the adults start fighting because anyone have any questions on this tour? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we scared off the entire team of Filbert. Uh, go back to main scene. <laughs> Listen, you son of a bitch. You want to know what else? You want to know what else? Mm -hmm. Fudge. What about it? The thing is chocolate. Fudge is not chocolate. Chocolate fudge is not uh it's a yeah. totally different thing. Hmm? You want a cigarette, by the way? I've been smoking this whole time. I forgot to offer you. Oh yeah, thanks. Oh, yeah. So I just listen. I just smoke two thirds of it. I I okay. break the other third off. Listen, I'll I'll cut you in for one third if you will keep this a secret and uh tell us. What what can we do about this? We got what I mean the whole white white chocolate thing is giving us a real bad name, as is the whole fudge thing. We've been trying to keep it under wraps, but you're just blowing it up. What can you do to help? What what do we have to do? What do we do? What do we do? You want okay, okay, okay. You want to play ball? Okay. I want you to play okay, ball. Okay, Peterson. No, no, you had to play ball with me. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm I'm the one giving a third, so you're I'm playing. Not gonna throw, third. I don't like playing. I, I can't catch. We cut to the factory, chocolate factory annual softball game. <laughs> Up to pitch. Everyone, everyone pull in the outfield. This guy can't throw. I mean, <laughs> it, you know, this person can't hit the ball. Everyone pull in the outfield. Uh, which end do I hold it on? <laughs> the, you hold it on the smaller end. Oh. The, the end that's oh. one third smaller than the rest of the bat. Oh, okay. But ready? remember, white chocolate is not real chocolate. Oh. I don't want to be a one note Charlie. Oh. Oh. Uh, we we it. we cut to the dugout. Mister Mister Coach, please please put me up. The guy on the guy in there doesn't even know how to play, and he keeps talking about white chocolate all the time. <laughs> yeah, but but. but, but. Please let me play. I pl I promise I, I I I won't injure anyone this time. It's you, Aaron. <laughs> so you won't injure anybody this time. 
No, I, I, not, I promise not like I won't. The last time, or the time before that, the time before that, that one, that one. Remember cut, the softball game three years ago? Cut to the softball game three years ago. <laughs> okay. <sighs> now look, look, we are going into the bottom of the seventh. Yeah. At this moment, you just gotta hit the ball as hard as you can. Hit it. Okay. Knock it out of the park. That's all. Okay. We we'll win okay, this game. Okay, I won't. Okay, okay, I, I, I will, I will. Won't let you down, coach. Are you ready? Orange, yeah. Orange chocolate stays. Orange chocolate okay. stays. Orange chocolate uh, stays. Uh, get out of here. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, back to present day. Sorry, I have to, okay. <laughs> sorry, I just don't like orange chocolate. <laughs> Look, I get it. <laughs> Toblerone is not really a piece of chocolate. I get it. Yeah. I mean, it, it really is. And white chocolate's just cocoa butter. But still. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sweet, you sweet, just sweet. Go around my... sweet, sweet. All right, here's my new idea for you. Here it is. Corduroy chocolate. <laughs> Corduroy. And I also have some dad <laughs> chocolate and some chenille chocolate. I want some velour chocolate. I got velour. This is this is beautiful. Just, just rub this along your cheek. I can yeah. I can tell with my taste buds the different textures between corduroy mm -hmm. and plaid. Take take the corduroy and just like use it up to your ear and that like hear it. Use all your senses. What do you think? Can I make a suggestion? Is it winner? It's it perfect like... except for one thing. What? What? You got to take it and you got to write patent pending. That'll scare off all the competition. You... But I don't. I, 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 so I, it doesn't what, doesn't what, matter. Why do I have to do penny? Why do I have to just say this has a patent? Um, and no hey, one can take it. I think that the sound is already panted. It's actually the sound of Nelson and all of the members of Filbert singing Dixie Chicks. Patent pending. Patent. <laughs> they wouldn't know any Dixie Chicks music? Wide open spaces. I love the house. <laughs> she needs new faces. She knows the high stakes. She knows the high stakes. We're gonna get I, um, do we worry about the taste of the chocolate? I was just kidding. What does it taste? What What do you take? What do you, What does it taste like to you, Greg? It tastes kind of like a. You know, to be honest, I haven't been able to get it into my into my mouth. The it, I guess it's the anticipation. Had the same problem. Ah, did you? Are you eating the wrong side? One side is actually corduroy. Like, I don't know. I can't get it into my mouth. Mentally, it's like no. That's oh, yeah. That that's not going to work, is it? It hasn't yet, but maybe. It might be the shape. I don't know. What it doesn't work? I feel like I'm going to be biting into a non-edible substance. Ooh. Will I die if I eat this chocolate? Well, I don't know. I, it's mostly what it's mostly white chocolate, so it's not even chocolate. I know, <laughs> I know, I know. Actually, a little, a little bit is carrot. <laughs> Give it up for Team Three. Uh, special guest uh, Gilbert playing the Dixie Chicks. <laughs> <laughs> part of that set uh great so we have one more jam team for you before our headliners filbert uh but before we introduce them i'm going to kick it over to faustino who started this jam a pandemic and a half ago uh to let you know uh some other things that are going on so uh stick around for just a moment once upon a time in a very hot summer day in kansas city missouri uh we're, we're not going to tell that story but um, you know what's also relevant about Kansas City is that um, no, I should have done it. Sorry, uh, again, I, I got I got back home at nine in the morning, so I'm a little trippy. 
um, because I was able to uh, meet some people from inner city um, in person and we got to reminisce. So for those who are, who are watching um, online or who are in the Zoom, um, is make sure that if you're meeting with people, stay safe. But if you have the opportunity, um, connect. I think that benefit, some of the benefits from online improv is that we're connecting people from all over the world. Um, I do want to stress that uh, we did change our name from Long Farm Jam to Inner City Improv Community. So please, um, if you think that everything is valuable um, for participating in all the stuff that we have, please share the events around. Um, we're keeping this, we're going to keep this jam going for as long as possible. I think we all agree. Yes. Do we agree that this is the one of the fun things we get to do every Sunday? Yeah. Is, is that the thing? Right. I'll yes. take this. I'll take this. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. We do want to grow the community a little bit um, because we still want to feature people who have been to the jam before or have never experienced selling improv or just meeting new people. Um, improvising. So uh, Nick did skip this very, very, very important slide. Um, do you all see it? Mm -hmm. What does it say on there? Is this the right one? Is the right slide? Yeah, now accepting uh, improv teams, uh, video sketches, musical directors, jammers. So submissions for all these things. If you want to be uh, one of the jammers, if you want to help out organizing and uh, running a jam, that's great. If you want to be one of the headlining teams, if you want to be uh, any kind of improv team, or if you have a video sketch, uh, a sketch that you've recorded with your team in your area, submitted to us, and we will likely make it part of the jam as well. And if you uh, play keys, if you're an improvised musical director, please uh, sh shout out to us because that is a skill set that is hard to find uh, and very difficult to find people as talented as Faustino and some of the other musical directors we've had. So shout out and uh, join us and play some music online with us. Yay, and that is that. Thank you so much, and let's take it back to Nick for our team four. Cool. So we're going to introduce our last team, or actually we're going to introduce the person who's going to introduce our last team, and then you will see our headliners. Uh, so Alex Lee introduced this last uh, jam team, which is a musical team, and then we'll see our headliners, which is Phil. Yeah, thank you, Nick. So uh, th uh, I think everyone knows, but just to be explicit, our musical director uh, tonight is Faustino himself. Ooh. And also our timekeeper for to uh, tonight is Michael Workowski, so he'll be giving uh, out the two-minute warning. So for Team <laughs> 4, our last musical team, th thank you both guys, is we have the uh, De Danelle Marr from Fremont, California, uh, Nelson Morgan from <laughs> Oklahoma, <laughs> Rafi from uh, Tucson, Arizona, and Jeremy Schwartz also from Tucson, Arizona. So this is Team 4, the last music set of the evening, so take it away. Ooh. Hey, everybody, we are Team 4. And um, what do you got that is a suggestion of something you have too many of? What's too many? No dogs. Pencils? Did I hear health books and pencils? See. See, let's y yes, let's take both health books and pencils. Thank you. So, uh, are you going to keep taking notes in those health books with these pencils? You know, um, the pencils are getting to be challenging. I, I wish they could just make the pencils like they did back in the olden days. Why do I have to get a pencil with an instruction manual? I, I feel like there's just too many of these things. Are, are you talking about those big old pencils that they used in the old days? Yes. Oh, That's what's we, wrong with those. Well, you have to use two hands to write with them. Yeah, but you don't get carpal tunnel. You don't get repetitive strain. Your life doesn't crash on you. God, I hate it wow. when my life crashes. Oh my gosh, it sounds like uh, you're stressed out about something besides health books and pencils. I am. I well, am. tell me about it. You'll listen. Oh, uh, <gasps> intently. Oh my God. <gasps> My heart bleeds, my heart bleeds. Think 
thinking you will listen to me about the trauma, about the trauma of the pencil. Yes, I will hear you talk about the pencils you use. You use that big number 10, the jumbo pencil, every time you write. Look at the notes you put in the health book. You know, I just want to say I've tried to switch to pens, but my habit of chewing on the wood is causing pain. Now I have to go to the dentist. I have to go to the dentist again. This is your third time this week that you went to see the dentist. Can he fix your teeth? Because you're not smiling anymore, trying to cover them up. I'm trying to cover them up. I'm trying to cover them up. Oh, honey. Please smile at me. Show me your teeth. You listen. You listen. I love your teeth. You love my teeth. Show them to me. I show them to you. Oh, they look so good, honey. It's you. Oh. Oh. Sweet. <laughs> okay. Everyone, welcome to PencilCon 2021. I'm here to talk to you all about a very serious issue. Pencil lead doesn't show up on Zoom. I know because I just tried it. When you extend it out, it's, it looks like nothing. <laughs> I, I would like to propose a solution. Super visible pencil lead. I, I've worked very hard on this matter. Wait a minute. You said super visible pencil lead. Are there, is there pencil lead you can't see? That's right. That's right. This, this pencil lead doesn't show up on Zoom. It's a serious matter. Oh. Oh my goodness. Then how do you know what you're writing? I don't on Zoom. It's a serious problem. Oh, you're all zoomed out, huh? I'm all zoomed out. That's right. This is I, a serious this is a serious problem. It really is. Tell me about it. Douglas, I wrote you a letter the other day but I couldn't see it I couldn't see it is that why I got a blank letter in the mail there was nothing on it I couldn't tell that's right <laughs> There was nothing there And that's why the gift card had zero dollars Oh, so you 
didn't really give me anything in that card. With that pencil, with that invisible lead, that look sounds hard. I couldn't see it. You couldn't see it. I swear I couldn't see it. It's not just a cop-out, I promise. Well, let me tell you what I did. <gasps> you signed that card, so I put a million dollars on it. <laughs> and I cashed it at the bank. Cashed and it at the bank. And put it in my account. Right in your account. And now you've found out. I was wondering what happened to my million dollars. Hey, it's mine now. What are you going to do with it? Hey, let me just be honest with you. I'm going to split it. <gasps> 70 30. I'm keeping 70. I'll give you 30 back. All things considered, that seems generous. Next time, don't use that lead. I won't. <laughs> Hang out, Nelson. Let me get this right. Let me get this right. Are you. Are you playing the fool or what? I mean, you need to give me my money. Don't be giving me some story about somebody taking your money. No Look, way. You owe me. I swear to you, it was all because of the pencil lead. I've heard, I've heard that before. You got to come up with something. That's just rich. You got to come up with something better than that. Have I ever told you you're a very talented loan shark? Yeah. Well, no, no, you haven't. No, you're that, really good at what you do. No I... one's ever said that to me. That's kind of that's kind of kind of you. I like. I like. Yeah, oh, I, thank you. I feel very intimidated. You're just very good at this. Oh, really? Oh, you know what? I wish I could take you to my daddy because he thinks I'm really bad at this. He thinks that I'm just a pushover, and I try. The daddy doesn't listen to me. Huh, honey, honey, who's that? This is a guy I'm trying to get my money from, Dad. Uh, Hi, Mr. Salenberger. Hey, uh, I, I'm so glad you're here, but... Honey? What? What, Dad? What are you trying to get money for, from him for? So you'll be proud of me, Dad. So you'll be proud of me. I, w I just want you to be proud of me. But I am proud of you. You're proud of me? Yes, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of all the things you do. You're the best daughter. Well, the only daughter that I have. But I am proud of you. He's proud of me. He's so proud of you. He's proud of me. Really proud of you. I don't think I need to read those books on how to do crime anymore. I don't think I need to pay you back anymore. Please. Oh. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Daddy. Don't you think you should pay me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I God. think he should pay you all he owes. Cause he has all that money, you know. That's right, that's right. He should give it to you. Give it to me. So that you could see this life. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Mr. Lone Shark's dad, 
I was kind of hoping that you'd back me up. I'd back you up if you give me a cut. <gasps> that wait, sounds wait, fair. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Does that mean we each get a third? Or I get two thirds? Daddy gets a third and you get none? I don't understand this man. You know, I think, I think we all should get a third. A third. A third. <laughs> Give me the money. Give me a third. <laughs> Give me, Give me a third. Give me the third. Here's your third. <gasps> and here's your third. Well, and well, Daddy. this is my third. <gasps> well, da Daddy, that doesn't arrest, that we're supposed to get the third from him, not from you, Daddy. No, wait a minute. But I'm okay with this. I, I think he's getting more money from us, Daddy. I don't oh. think this is going right, Daddy. Listen, trust me. Trust you? I yes, you, Daddy. I trust, trust me. I trust. We're getting all we deserve. We're getting Arthur. 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 We're getting Arthur. live with that <sighs> oh you know let's go shopping i'm gonna go for a drive mm. sweet <sighs> <sighs> i don't know where did all these health books come from i just and i'm always reading about being healthy but look at me. Terence, it is I, us, the health book fairies. We oh. bring health books to people everywhere. <gasps> You're the health book fairies? Well, tell me a tale then. A tale? A, a tale? fairy tale. A fairy tale. A fairy tale about health? Yes. Oh. Well. There's nothing like taking care of your medulla oblongata. <laughs> Take care of your medulla oblongata. Take care of your medulla oblongata. It's part of your brain. And it will take care of you. Take care of your tonsils. <laughs> Take care of your tonsils. They're like right here. Right here. Well, while you're talking about body parts, let's take care of our lungs too. Take care of your lungs. Take care of your lungs. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Take care of your lungs. Take care of your lungs. Because they will keep you breathing and alive from day to day. You've got it. You've got it. You want to be alive. That's it. That's how you be healthy. You stay alive. When you're my age, you've got to do all you can. Yes, stay you, alive. You need to underline that part with your pencil so you don't forget. Oh. oh. Happy birthday, Nelson! We're all singing happy birthday, Nelson! One, two, go! <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Get in here, Michael. Happy birthday to you. Brother Nelson. <laughs>
<laughs> well, lovely. Happy birthday. And that was, uh, that was team four. <laughs> Before we bring on our headliners, uh, we want to give you the opportunity because this is an inner city uh, community improv jam. Uh, we want to give you the opportunity to share what's going on in your neck of the woods. Tell us what's on your menu. If you want to share what's going on, pop your screen on and let us know uh, classes you've got teaching, uh, you know, classes you're, you're being a part of. Uh, yeah. I see Aaron Campbell from Knoxville, Tennessee, that wants to let us know something that's going on in their neck of the woods. Uh, yeah, so I am the director of the Secret City Improv Festival, which it's awful hard because I didn't realize how far down the logo was on the shirt until tonight, but yeah. The Secret City Improv Festival, if anybody wants to come and join our ensembles or any of that, during the festival, we've got a ton of opportunities. So come and play with us September 24th and 25th um, at the Historic Grove Theater in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Faustina will be joining us to do music. And, um, and if anybody wants to submit their team, we still have three spots open on our lineup and we're taking submissions all the way through uh, August 13th. So you can go to secretcityimprovfest.com slash submission to submit. Um, some of the teams that have already been there, because I sent the roster, uh, Friends of Inner City Improv uh, Impromptu, uh, Improv from Sarasota, as well as uh, my boys, four first names from Orlando. Um, so this is a legit festival that I'm very excited to be playing for. So please support and also submit if you can. This is so fun having you guys here. Yeah, hopefully. The ghost of Michaels and Donnells. I banish thee from the talking. Wait, here, you keep going. I'm going to. And mentioning that, I just talked to Lauren Hay today from the, what is it, the producers Improv Out of San Francisco. And the Improv Network has not been sending me emails. So I did not know she had emailed me like a month ago. But yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. So come and if you want to come and get on stage, it's going to be a lot of fun. We've got a tournament that's going to be going on. We have, um, we've got a pool. So if you come as just a solo, we'll throw your name in a hat. We'll pull you out. You'll get the opportunity to perform multiple times through the festival. It's going to be a fun, fun time. Awesome. Uh, thanks, Aaron. Anyone else uh, got something going on? A class, a show? Uh, Rafi, go ahead, yeah. Uh, this Friday with Queen City Comedy, you can come check out Ridgely. I don't remember the time because I forgot we were doing plugs, but you should check it out this Friday because it's going to be a good time. It's our one-year anniversary show. Cool. Awesome. Uh, I see uh, Michael and then uh, Faustino. Hey, uh, 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 I am currently e e e on an improvised sitcom live from the asylum. Uh, 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 please, I'm gonna check it out. It's with a bunch of very fun in on in on improvisers. It uh, goes off uh, 6:30 p.m. Pacific Thursdays, uh, and we are up to episode nine this summer week. So please, I'm gonna check that out. And of course. I am also one of the co-founders of, uh, of a lot more better improv and self-expression. We do blue humor jams Mondays and Saturdays, grounded scenes jams Tuesdays, and we also do karaoke events, streaming shows, and other uh, events. So please like and follow a lot more better on Facebook if you haven't. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Faustina, what you got? This is an open. Uh, the album in between, yeah. Uh, it's open. <laughs> Come to Vegas, don't go to the Strip. Come for all of the natural state parks and surrounding nature things. Uh, this is a weird conundrum, but we do have um, every Thursday, if you happen to be traveling through Vegas, um, every Thursday we do have a jam and a show. Um, jam is at 7 p.m. and we have a show following at 8.30. Come visit the community and what I do every week uh, as a part-time job. Um, but yeah, if um, we do have a jam and a show, so please come by Vegas if you get a chance. Again, uh, I would stay away from the strip as much as possible, especially with things. But if you're going to be traveling and want to do like local, natural, organic things, then watch the most organic thing you think of an improv show in Vegas. Um, so yeah, uh, message me on Facebook for more information. Awesome. I don't, here. Uh, I don't see anyone else uh, other than JP coming to the screen. <laughs> JP, uh, for us. 
Uh, hi, yeah, just a couple things. Uh, Second City is running a short form tournament and uh, it's uh, running Mondays uh, for the next few weeks. And uh, my team, the good, the bad, and the ugly will be uh, competing tomorrow. So if you want to check it out, uh, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. And the other thing on Fridays, bi-weekly, I do uh, a mix of short and long form with a troupe based out of Toronto called Asian Ploitation. So if you want to check it, check that out, that would be great. And I'll post the links in the chat. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, JP. Uh, cool. I don't see anyone else. So I'll introduce Angela uh, to share. Go ahead, Angela. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, a little late. Um, just say I'm part of a group called In Professionals, and every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time for half an hour, we have um, a show on the Facebook page, it is streamed on the Facebook page, um, Socially Distant Improved, every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, cool. Anyone else want to share something? I'll share briefly if other folks want, want to share something. Uh, so I'm here at the Curious Comedy Annex, where we're soon to be doing live shows here uh, in our main stage. And uh, you can join us for those shows sometime in September. However, until then, we are doing uh, online open court every single Wednesday, 930 Pacific time broadcast live from here. Uh, but you can broadcast, jump in any time, uh, wh wherever you are at that, that time and join us for some online jams. We break out into breakout rooms and warm up a little bit and then play together very much like this jam, but a little different. And uh, you're welcome to do that for about the next month or so. And then very soon, we're going to go live with Open Court in uh, a little over a month. So be on the lookout for that if you are in the Pacific Northwest. And please come see us if you're visiting here in Portland. Uh, I myself will also be teaching an online class with the nursery, which is uh, with a company out of London. Uh, that will be the first week of August. And I'll uh, share more information on that shortly. And uh, I think that's pretty much it, unless anyone else has any information they want to share before we introduce our headliners. Great, so we're gonna introduce our headliners, which are a uh, Curious Comedy House main stage team. Uh, we're gonna welcome them to the screen right now. We have Philbert, please welcome Philbert to the screen. Make some noise, y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh, Man, that, okay. was that was incredible. That was incredible. This is amazing. This is How's amazing. everybody doing? Wow. Oh, so much Proven. Proven in music, non music, sharing Prav, stuff. Prav Maga. That's what Prav. I'm going to start. <laughs> Prav Maga. I'm going to Yeah, the well known Prav. Israeli martial art form, <laughs> Prav Maga. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I love it. Uh, we need. Oh, go ahead. It's all good. Sorry, Jess. We need some suggestions to get started. So what do you got for us? Tell us. Ooh. Cantaloupe. Ooh, moon landing. I see moon landing. I heard cantaloupe. Disco oh. dancing. Disco oh. dancing. Got a yes. disco dancing. Ooh. Back rubs. What do we like? What do we Back like? rubs. Mm -hmm. Ooh. An antique fridge. Ooh. <sighs> I, I'm really drawn to disco dancing, but yeah, all right, that's it. it. That's it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Gilbert, thank you. Presents disco dancing. Mm. <sighs> I'm um, I'm really nervous to go out dancing with everyone. I, I, I found some lipstick in my purse and I put it on, but it's smeared, so I removed it. I, I, I also found a, a, an old taco in the same purse and I ate it. It was from Taco Bell. I don't even remember getting it. You guys, I have a bunch of receipts, but none of them have my name or my card number on them. Every time I go out, I find that I get mail from the same address that isn't my address. But it's an address that's in Russia, maybe. It is. It's Russian. It's Russian, and it's and I just put it in my purse. I, I keep it in my purse, and I look at it. And maybe one day I'll be able to speak Russian. 
Do you guys think maybe we're overthinking this evening hangout? I, I, every time that we every time that we go out, something goes wrong. So I I I really need planning. I need to know what to expect. Just You're right. Will you, just will you co-regulate with me for a minute? Sure, yeah, I agree. Planning. They say that when you look into someone's eyes, you can you can see um, their their brain and it causes an empathic reaction. I'm right. Okay. But there's three of us, so whose eyes do I look into? <laughs> do I look into your eyes or do I look into your eyes? Uh, uh, now I'm nervous about it. Oh gosh, I got to put my glasses back on. Oh, get oh. 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 My palms are sweating. Oh. Oh. Clammy. How are we going to meet guys with clammy hands? Wow. Oh. Maybe just put them in your pockets. Or just put them, in, put them in my pockets. The hands or the guys? Oh, <laughs> that's a funny joke. <laughs> that's really fun. Thank you for thank you for giving some laughter in this tense moment. <laughs> Look, we've got to be brave. I think we just need to go out disco okay. dancing. All T right, Tiffany, Tiffany, Magdalene, I'm ready to do this. All right, a one, a two, a two, a, a one. one. Two, three, three, four. Where's the money, Paul? I told you, and I'll tell you again, you got to answer the riddle before I give you the money. Paul, I was never too good at riddles, okay? I just want to know where the money is. And I guess if I got to answer a riddle to do it, fine. Throw Good. me the best riddle you got. All right. I'll, I'll say it again. This is twice that I've said it. Okay? okay. Here it is. You don't bury the survivors. You don't bury the survivors. <laughs> no, that was just, I was an answering in anticipation of oh, what yeah, your yeah, riddle yeah, might yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. That's also on the test. Okay. <clears throat> What's your riddle? Two people go Two. into the forest, okay? Yes. Tino, you got this? Two people. Two. Go into the forest. They go into the forest. Why? No, no, listen. It's a, no, don't ask Why? questions. Tino. Why do they go oh. into the forest? That doesn't matter. doesn't matter. The riddle. Okay, fine. All right. Two people are in the forest. We don't and know people, why. And here's what happens. Four people come out of the forest, Tino. Uh-huh. Why? No. That's the riddle, Tino. Two people oh. go into the forest. Four people come out of the forest, Tino. Both of them were pregnant. The money's in the refrigerator, Tino. Oh, thank you so much, Edit C. <laughs> I lost my backpack today. My mom's going to be so mad. She's going to be really mad. Oh, no. Where, where did you lose your backpack? Well, I, I rode the bus home, and then I stopped by the library to pick up my comic collection that I lent to the librarian, Alec. Oh, wow. And then I came home. But I came home via the BP on 6th, and I got a Slurpee, but it was a non-specific BP Slurpee. It wasn't a 7-Eleven Slurpee. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys. Hey. 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 How's it going? Um, well, I, I got kicked out of art class again. Oh no. Steffi, I, I, that's the third time this week. Why do you keep acting up in art? That's the only fun class. Because it's because it's art, because I'm expressing my humanity. Can I tell you guys what I lost? What? What, Kevy? Well, I was working on a hovercraft in my parents' garage, uh -huh. and I and I lost it. It's gone. You, you 
what? You lost the hovercraft? That is mathematically and thermodynamically impossible, Kevy. Well, you know, we don't know that to, for sure because the hovercraft could have gone into a Calabi Yao space and, and, and we just can't see all facets of the Calabi Yao spaces right now. I have no idea what I told you about the Calabi Yao space. What is the Calabi Yao space? It's, it's part of string theory. Steffi. What? No, Steffi, not you, Kevy. Not everything's oh. about you, Kevy. All right, I'm sorry, but I'm just saying that maybe your backpack and maybe your art is in the Calabi Yaw space with oh my Oh my gosh, hovercraft. okay. I'm so sorry you had to spell that out for me, but I am with you now. I am with you now. Is it just in the sky? Is that what it is? No, it's, it's an extra the... dimension of folded space and time. Are we in it now? It's a parallel experience with infinite possibilities and no real way to tell what might be truly happening. That might be why you have antenna. It might be why I can't find my backpack, even though I put a GPS locator on it and I have the, I have the tracker right here. Oh no. I gotta, I gotta go guys, but I, I love you. And thank you for blowing my mind, bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm going into the Calabi House Bay. Oh no. The space, the space needs something. It needs. Jesus, Carol, go ahead. Do whatever you need to this space, okay? But we're just subletting it for a couple of weeks. You get so, you know, you get Marge, so Marge, crazy we need, about this stuff. Marge, we need to zhuzh the space. It's all about the space. You know what I'm saying? Look, I want some place to lay my head at night, some place to keep out the rain, some place that's close to where I work. Otherwise, I don't care. There's nothing on the walls. You know I, what? Don't, don't cry, okay? We'll get something on the walls. You always say this, and then the walls remain blank. Look, I'm sorry we've had to move so much, okay? I know it's my fault, but I, it's hard being in the witness protection program, okay? And you're not even supposed to know that. And you trusted me with, you entrusted me with this information, Marge, and I love you for it. But I need, I, God, I can't, do you see this? Do you see it? There's nothing here. Look, we just can't have a paper trail. And if you buy home goods, every new city that we move to, somebody's bound to figure out what's going on. You're saying if I go into TJ Maxx and I buy a painting and I put it on the wall, then you're going to be gone? Is that because they'll take you? I'm going to have to move again. Yes, if you go into a TJ Maxx, <laughs> I'm going to have to move. It's just so hard. It's so uh, hard. Will you get out of it? Man, you're, you're just so dramatic about all this stuff. I just need something on the walls. I, I, but I love you, Marge, and I don't want to move again. And I'm so Fine. Put something on the wall, but I bet you the next thing that happens, somebody's going to come knocking on that door right there. And they're going to find out who I am and what I've seen. No. Edit. Sweep. <clears throat> we got this place under a pretty, uh, pretty tight surveillance. Pretty tight surveillance. Uh, just waiting for, just waiting for one, uh, one transaction, one swipe of the credit card. Yeah, I got you. Um, we are watching the corner market uh, mm -hmm. pretty closely. Just uh, regular folks coming in and buying some chewing gum so far. Okay, all right. Thank you for reporting your position. I am. Uh, currently staking out the house on um third 
Right. I am at the corner market at the uh, the corner of Third and Tasker, and I am near the bread. Tag out, Kristen. So um, first, I will remove all my clothes. And oh, wow. I'm black. Uh, this that's not the kind of surveillance yeah. that, that we're conducting. Uh, oh, wait a second. Are we uh, removing our clothes? Because I will also remove my clothes. Jonathan, please, uh, please, uh, please turn your communicator to a different channel. I just want to say if anybody's uncomfortable with what I've just suggested, I apologize, but I am willing and consenting and informed. So I will remove my clothes yeah. if you all want to. Just just uh just trying to get a private moment with my okay. wife, the sergeant. Oh, uh, right. Looking private, for a third today. Private. We're not looking for a third today. I will bow out, today. but today. I will still be on the comms. Today. So. <laughs> today. <laughs> today. today 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 you're looking good today hun yeah oh, you always yeah. look good i rolled over this morning and i saw your face and i oh. thought how does she look like an angel even on the pillow oh oh, oh. on your birthday it's your birthday yeah it's you're the biggest gift you're the biggest gift uh, I've just got. checking in to tell you that i'm moving from the bread to the uh, sausages. So, yeah. <laughs> Copy. Copy that. Good, good. <laughs> but really, I, uh, I'm just so lucky to have you in my life. And I can't believe that I found you after all these years. On your birth, you, the way that you love and you talk to me, I'm the <laughs> luckiest woman alive. That's what I <laughs> Uh, moving from the sausages to the melons. Uh, just <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I uh, now listen, baby. Bless I, uh, you. That was my dog. <laughs> just a dog. I uh, I have a very important question I want to ask you, darling. Yes, yes, yes. yes and yes. I'm I'm tired of waiting. I think we should we we should renew our vows. <gasps> We should go to Hawaii. We should renew our vows. I've got the miles saved up. Copy that. Copy. I am in the sweet buns right now. I'm in the sweet, <laughs> it's sweet bun. It. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! I am. Um, I. I'm an. I'm a new. I'm a new neighbor, and I just wanted to meet all of my other new neighbors. <laughs> Love it. Stopped by. It's so wonderful. It's so wonderful. <laughs> I thought that all of your um, uh, uh, all of your landscaping was really fun, and you look like fun people. The way that you painted your chimneys and your shutters, and so I wanted to say hello. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you for noticing the topiary. Is, the topiary. Is, topiary. The topiaries. What are you trying to say? I say the topiaries. The topiaries that you have. Mm -hmm. in the shape of dinosaurs. Those. Oh, yeah. Are delightful. Delightful. You're going to love the house down the street. You're going to love it. It used to be haunted. We sent a priest and now it's completely cleared. And, and we've made sure that most of the soil has been turned over so it's not clayey anymore. Oh, well, that, that's a, this is all good information. I, I must tell you, though, I am a ghost. Woo <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. A we, ghost. We are the official neighborhood welcome committee, and we welcome you as we would welcome any other guest. Oh, if I appreciate it so much. May I ask, how did you pass, darling? Oh, I passed from having too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I had too much fun with the Chardonnay at Beverly's pool last evening, and I know exactly how you feel. Oh, yes, that was a wonderful day when you had that fun. <laughs> <sighs> 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 
podcast from Too Much Fun. How lucky are we? (laughs) (sighs) Ghost, um, we're doing an escape room tomorrow. You should join us. Oh, I love that. Do we just go right through the walls or do we really try? We have to really try. We can't go through the walls, but you can pop out and maybe bring us some drinks. (laughs) Sounds great. (laughs) Count me in. (laughs) (laughs) Um, The birthday calendar is too full. There's too many, there's too many birthdays and I can't help that they gave us 38 students, Diane. Sherry, I, I know there's, at least there's two of us, right? At least we have each other, but I can't put all the names that were born in February on February. So do you think I can just write them in a different month? I mean, they can't read their four and five. I mean, just add like a sticky note or something and, and make a list of birthdays. Hi, my name is Michael and I'm new to the class. I'm student number 39 and I have a birthday in February. Wow. I hate it when those kindergartners just drop by unannounced. They just pop in, they just pop in. They just were running around just Yes. Oh, sorry for popping in again. I just wanted to let you know my dad is a lawyer, and if my birthday isn't celebrated, she's going to be really upset. Okay, thank you. Thank you. It's getting worse. It's 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 happening. This is thirty. That's thirty nine students, Diane. That's almost forty. Almost forty. There's almost forty of them. There are two of us. If they climbed on top of us, they could smother us to death. <laughs> and that happened once. Right? And I will not be no. Mr. Van Tompkins. No, we will not. Hi, I've spoken with all the other kindergartners in the class and we're really good at climbing and I just wanted to let you know that. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my God. They okay. told us how to deal with burnout in grad school, yes. Diane. Yes. I know it was. I know it was 30 years ago for you, but this is just... It's Can fresh for me. What we need to do is we need to we need to accept the situation. We need to understand that these issues are systemic, but what happens in our classroom is community focused and it's just about us. So we need to make this work somehow. Mm-hmm. I am considering the use of an electric fence. Um, is this somebody's backpack? I found it in a Calabi Yao space. <laughs> Thank you. I'll Thank you so thank much. You. <laughs> I think that's our show. Yay. Thank you. Give it up for COVID, everybody. We really need to fund public schools better. I've been yeah, doing a lot of homework. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> Didn't realize that was going to be a political social justice set, but uh, yeah, give it up for COVID. <laughs> that's what you get. That was incredible. That's what happens when you invite a Portland team to be your headliner. Uh, Cool. That that was so great. Uh, So please stick around because we have a line game coming up. We always play like a short form line game, and then we're going to have some jam time on a little bit of a jam board. Uh, And I'm going to introduce Faustino to introduce that right now. Faustino, what is our line game for the evening? What is our line game? I know what the line game is, but I don't have a name for it right now. I wrote on our thing. This is your this is your pilot speaking, uh, just inspired by the set that we just watched. Um, so everyone's gonna have to get really close to their microphones for this one. Uh, where are you guys' suggestion of um, anything at all? Not quite, um, but uh, you're gonna have to speak in that same. Uh, you're speaking very quietly into a microphone because I just thought it was such a fun thing. So for example, if our suggestion was bananas, uh, we'd be a profession that would speak into a microphone very slowly, inspired by bananas, and do a pun. For example. I'm uh, about to pick up this shipment of bananas at the dock. I really don't want to slip and fall into the ocean. That's not really a pun, but you get the idea. I wish I'd come up with something better than that. Um, uh, maybe maybe something like, uh, uh, this is your captain speaking. Uh, hopefully this flight will be appealing. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. Let's, let's do that. Let's do it that way then, because it's better. Um, so let's let's remove bananas from our brains. 
And um, let's uh, flood the chat with the examples of non-food items that can fit in two hands, not just one hand. It must be touching both hands at the same time, like a pair of slippers. Yeah, because you put a slipper in one hand. Uh, so you're going to have to say something weird like a pilot uh, inspired by slippers. Uh, if you have a joke in mind or just say something weird because this is I'm sleepy, uh, come up on screen and I'll call you one at a time. And then uh, let's present what we got. So inspired by um, talking to an intercom, inspired by slippers. Nick Condon. Yeah, this is your captain speaking. We're experiencing some turbulence, so you may flip-flop from one side to the other during our ride. Uh, okay. Um, this is your captain speaking. My crocs are itchy. <laughs> <laughs> Please, somebody else with a slipper. Uh, JP. <laughs> This is your pilot speaking. Uh, it's quite a feat uh, that we've climbed so high. Okay. Uh, Susan. This is your captain speaking. Please don't slipper your feet underneath my chair. <laughs> It'd be weird if we were in the cockpit with you. Uh, Michael. This is your captain speaking. Please put on your wool slippers for your sheared comfort. Uh, very nice. Um, cool. Uh, slippers make me think of a uh, thing on your feet. What is a place where you would like to take a walk on? What is a place that you would take like take a walk on? Beach. A bridge. Uh, your suggestion is bridges. I think someone said beach, but then I interpret it as bridges. But we're going with bridges because that's a fun suggestion. Uh, this is your captain speaking. We're about to, uh, uh, we're going to go in a very exotic place and someone's ASMRing paper into the microphone. Uh, don't, <laughs> go, don't go chasing waterfalls now. <laughs> Angel. Hey, this is your captain speaking. I know that you are thinking about someone that lives very far away. Don't worry. You can build a bridge between you and this person. <laughs> All right, here comes the whale. Hey, this is your captain speaking. The captain of the bridge. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, this is uh, Justin Timberlake speaking, uh, take it to the bridge. Uh, JP. <laughs> uh, this is your captain speaking. Uh, thanks to some uh, headwinds, our flight will be much shorter. Yes, it is abridged. Uh, uh, all right, well, what do you got? I forgot, I, I, I'm, not, I'm on the bridge of the vessel. <laughs> oh my God, Susan. This is your captain speaking. If you look out your window to the left, we are flying over the city with the most bridges, Pittsburgh. A lot of bridges. All right, you know what? Because I keep hearing rustling of papers, uh, we're going to use papers as our last suggestion. We're looking for an out, folks. Uh, this is your captain speaking. I seem to be flipping from location to location pretty frequently. That's not a thing. Somebody else come up with a thing involving paper. The whale. Uh, this is your captain speaking. Um, we're in a pretty desperate uh, need. Uh, if anybody on the flight has any paper, please bring it to the front of the aircraft. Thanks. That sounds like a reasonable request. Uh, this is your captain speaking. Can I just clarify? It needs to be construction paper. That's very important. Construction paper, please. <laughs> All right, Angel. Hello, this is your captain speaking. I know that you can hear some paper in your mind, and you can have a pen close to you. So you take the paper, you take the pen, and now write a book. 
Um, well, this is your captain speaking. Uh, something's wrong with my microphone. It sounds like it's been a li it sounds like a little Dunder Mifflin. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> This is her captain speaking. Our flight attendant wants to take a break and we're going to let her. <laughs> oh God, I guess we're gonna have to end with Mr. No, no, another Mr. Bill doll. All right, now. Uh, this is your captain speaking. Uh, the good news is we have an in-flight movie for you. Uh, the bad news is it will be The Notebook. Oh God, uh, Aaron Campbell. This is your captain speaking, and uh, for anybody that would like to put this in the newspaper, we actually are just going to stay right here on the tarmac. All right, Mr. Bill. Yeah. Oh, the captain said that this paper bill is for me. It's too much money. Ah. <laughs> uh, Okay, and then Susan, you're looking up for an ending. This is your captain speaking. Please do not flush any two ply down the toilet. Thank you. That just sounds like a regular thing. And on that note, um, this is your captain speaking. Uh, we're cut. Um, that has been this is your captain speaking. Uh, let's take it up to Nick to uh, wrap up the show this evening. Thank you so much for, for joining us at the Inner City Improv Jam. Give it up one more time for our headliners, Philbert. And uh, we are going to be, of course, here next week as well. Uh, and we're going to get a drum roll before we introduce the team uh, that is a headliner for next week. Can we make some, yes, drum sounds. And hold our it, hold it, hold it. I this is the first time in a while. Um, we actually don't have a headliner right now. Uh, uh, next week. Which means, uh, what does that mean? Anybody want to take a guess what that means? Um, yeah, uh, when we said, hey, we're looking for teams. Yeah, we're looking for people who would like to uh, share their presence and their funniness with the rest of the online community. So if you have a team, uh, please let us know. I'd love to put you on, maybe even as soon as this Sunday. Um, otherwise, we're going to do a weird thing uh, where uh, I'm going to be in the middle of the gauntlet for 25 minutes, and I really don't want to do that. So please submit your team to play for Inner City. Please don't make me have to go through the gauntlet for 25 minutes. Uh, that would be horrible. So, yep, that's it. Okay, so stay tuned for who our headliner is going to be uh, next week. And submit your team. Submit your sketches. Submit uh, any act that you might want to, not only to the Inner City Improv Jam, but also to that uh, Inner City Improv uh, open mic. So check all that stuff out. Uh, we're going to open up a whiteboard online in just a second here. So if you want to draw and share stories and words and pictures and things like that, you are welcome to do so. What about and the volunteers? There's anything else I'm forgetting, like calling out all the volunteers. Uh, go ahead. If you've been a volunteer for Inner City Improv, hop on screen right now, wave, Woo! show your face. Yay! Yay! Oh. Yay! And hopefully look forward to seeing you all in person sometime. I've seen some of you in person, but looking forward to seeing some of you in person uh, very soon. Now we're going to do that thing where we share the screen and you can draw on the whiteboard. End the stream first. Oh, yeah, we have a magic setting before we summon the whiteboard. Oh my gosh, I guess I'm doing it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, come back on the screen before we take a group photo because uh, some of the things that show up on the whiteboard are technically out of score for city rules uh, because that's the thing. Everyone, wait to the camera. Please, somebody else take a photo because uh, I don't want to do it this time. Um, ladies and gentlemen, and the word, words we always say at the end of the jam, Nick, take it away. Uh, I, I don't know what we say. Just just smile and be happy. <laughs> uh, this has been the Inner City Long Form Improv Jam. Yay! Yay! And, oh, I'm the one doing the stream. Unplug it, Faustino. Unplug. I am.